Hello everyone. Welcome to the TOGAF case study discussion. In this section, I will introduce you to a TOGAF case study with problems, so that you will be able to connect TOGAF in the context of enterprise architecture. The objective of this section is to introduce you to a TOGAF case study and start thinking how to solve it using TOGAF. If you apply all your learning of TOGAF level 1 in this case study, and solve the case study as a level 2 exercise, you will be pretty much ready for both TOGAF level 1 and level 2 exam and will also be able to apply the TOGAF learnings in your company as an enterprise architect. If that makes sense to you, let's take a quick look at the case study for next few minutes. Imagine a company named as Anysurance doing business in the insurance industry. Anysurance is the name of the organization and they sell both life and non-life insurance. Let's consider that, they are the leading global provider of risk management, services, insurance and reinsurance brokerage. And they has all your insurance needs covered. Meet Andrew, the chief information officer of the Anysurance company. He has recently joined the company and have observed that there are a lot of problems that needs to be resolved immediately otherwise there will be heavy business impact. Let's have a quick look at the problems now. As problem 1, he observed is there are too many local applications, location-wise which are repetitive in nature. Applications are local homegrown and modified as per country-specific requirements. Problem 2 is, local applications are still local, and not distributed application. Basically the existing application are not accessed via intranet as well. Problem 3 is resultant of the above two problems, where multiple applications handling the business workflow made it too complicated to operate. But Andrew is also a problem solver. He planned to hire an enterprise architect firm to evaluate and solve the problem using TOGAF. He planned to outsource following task to the enterprise architect firm. Now that Andrew has outsourced the task to the enterprise architect firm, let me introduce Philip here, and he is the chief enterprise architect in his firm, and he is responsible to deliver this work for an Asu Rance company. Philip calls his team of architect to help him working towards the same goal for any insurance company. Steve, David, Amanda and Jane are the architects who will be assigned work in four domains of architecture in TOGAF terms that is business, data, application and technology as per their capabilities. However all four are new to TOGAF and Philip will guide them how to go about it. TOGAF provide the methods and tools for assisting in the acceptance, production, use and maintenance of an enterprise architecture. The five concepts defined here, needs to be understood and remembered while working with TOGAF. The TOGAF library which is also built around this, is a reference library containing guidelines, templates, patterns, and other forms of reference material to accelerate the creation of new architectures for the enterprise. In this TOGAF foundation course Philips architect team will learn the TOGAF basics, provides validation that they has gained knowledge of the TOGAF terminology, structure, and basic concepts, and understands the core principles of enterprise architecture and the TOGAF standard. We will not solve the use case in level 1 of this course, however we will learn all the aspects of TOGAF and its relevant structure that need to be applied while solving the use case in level 2. TOGAF level 2 is about applying the concepts learnt in TOGAF level 1, and solve different level of real-world problems, as an architect. In the second level of TOGAF, Philip's team will apply different concepts learnt and present a solution to the CIO at the end. 
This will help the whole architecture team of Philips to apply and learn TOGAF step by step. If you are new to TOGAF or enterprise architecture, let me show you some simple steps how you can start solving this use case, starting with the preliminary phase of ADM, for next few minutes. In this section, we will learn how to apply the preliminary phase in development of an enterprise architecture. Here we will start applying the TOGAF concepts that we have learnt in TOGAF phase 1 of this course earlier. By end of this lesson, you will be able to understand how to set up framework and principles in the preliminary stage applying the TOGAF concepts learnt in phase 1. Let's have a quick look at the problem we have discussed in the case study. Andrew the CIO, is facing three problems in a high level that we need to solve. Problem 1 being his company having too many scattered applications in different countries doing the similar task. Secondly the applications are local and not distributed. The third problem he stated is multiple application handling complicated workflow made the business harder, and there are no common solution built yet, to handle this. Philip the chief enterprise architect, along with the team of enterprise architects, starts their preliminary work in this phase. Let's move to the next section. In level 1 of this course, Philip's team has learned the concepts of architecture development method which is ADM, followed by enterprise continuum, architecture content framework, architecture capability and ADM guidelines. Here the team will apply all the concepts learnt and design the preliminary phase. Let's move into the next section and have a deep dive into the design phase of preliminary. This preliminary phase is about defining where, what, why, who, and how we do architecture in the enterprise concerned. In this case it is any insurance company. The main aspects to think are, point one, what are the business drivers? What are the business goals? What are the framework used? Point two, where are the architecture repository? Can that be reused? Point three, when to perform compliance reviews? Point four, who are the key stakeholders? Who is responsible for what? Point five, how to develop the set of general rules and guidelines for the architecture being developed? Point 6. Doubt everything again. Think over and discuss by asking more why and then find out the best solution. So in a nutshell, things to remember here is we will define the whole enterprise in this preliminary phase. Then define the requirements for architecture work followed by defining the architecture principles that will inform any architecture work. Later define the framework to be used and establish the relationships between management frameworks. Finally evaluate the enterprise architecture maturity of the organization. Let's move on. This poster is from Orbis, which shows the objective, input, steps and output of the preliminary phase. The poster is self-explanatory so we will not spend much time here. However you may like to pause here for a moment, to read through it. Let's move on. The work begins with the initial contract handover to the enterprise architecture firm. In this case it is Philips firm. Let's quickly see what business the Anysurance do. For simplicity and learning purpose, let's assume Anysurance company are both in life and non-life business. There can be many categories of business but, we will scope it to Home insurance Car insurance Let's go to the next section In preliminary phase you need to understand the business model of the organization The business model of any insurance looks like this where they have key partners, key activities, key resources, value propositions, customer relationship, channels customer segments, cost structure and revenue streams. You can have a look at the TOGAF deliverables section for the organizational model for enterprise architecture document for better understanding. 
Let me conclude here by saying you need to likewise solve the use case step by step. The key to pass TOGAF certification level 2 is to practice everything scenario based and remember the level 1 automatically. However knowing level 1 concepts are equally important, otherwise you will not be able to apply it in the level 2. If you want to learn more, I have already published the TOGAF level 1 course in Udemy for solid foundation of TOGAF 9.2 and on my way to publish level 2. I will provide the links in the description and keep this updated time to time. Please comment your thoughts in the comment box. If you are new to TOGAF, I promise, this will be an interesting journey. Hope to see you inside the course. Thanks for watching.